Hey guys, this is Damien from Dame Tech back with another video. As requested, in this video, I'll be specifically testing both the Pixel 6 Pro and the iPhone 13 Pro Max cameras in a night setting. I've recorded and captured both 4K video and photos to properly test the different cameras in both phones. While showing my results, I'll also comment and share my observations during the testing. However, I'll leave you to decide which specific video, photo, overall camera you prefer in this test. So definitely let me know your thoughts in the comments below. With that being said, hope you enjoy and see you again at the end of this video. So starting with the wide angle lens for both phones right off the bat, I did notice a lot more grain with the Pixel 6 Pro versus the video with the iPhone 13 Pro Max. However, the Pixel does provide more exposure while the iPhone has a more realistic look. Colors are more accurate on the iPhone compared to the Pixel 6 Pro. If you look at this bush, the Pixel is definitely oversaturating these green colors. Now moving on to the ultra wide lens for both phones, again, the Pixel does show more grain and overexposed lighting compared to the iPhone 13 Pro Max. If you look at this lighted sign on the iPhone, the iPhone does a better job in capturing more detail and controlling the lighting. Now, as for the telephoto lens, both cameras did fairly well in this test. The Pixel 6 Pro is more saturated, while the iPhone does capture a more realistic picture. The Pixel 6 Pro is able to do four times zoom, while the iPhone is limited to three times zoom. Now, before we move on to the photos, I wanted to quickly share how both cameras work with darker colored people. I'm quite content with both cameras and how they handled my daughter's skin, but in terms of accuracy, I still have to give the edge to the iPhone as it seems the closest to capturing her true skin tone. So let's talk about the photos. Starting with the ultra wide camera, the Pixel captures so much more detail compared to the iPhone, despite both phones having a 12 megapixel ultra wide camera. If you look at my daughter's face or the black car in the background on the Pixel, there's so much more detail compared to the iPhone 13 Pro Max. Now, for this next ultra wide shot, again, the Pixel 6 Pro definitely captures more detail and color accuracy. The iPhone's ultra wide camera still needs work and definitely some improvement. Now moving on to the wide angle lens, the Pixel does a better job in capturing more overall detail and color accuracy while the iPhone appears to be slightly more saturated in color in this particular shot. Now for this next wide angle shot, the tables definitely turn. The iPhone provides more accurate colors and detail while the Pixel seems slightly overexposed, grainy, and colors are way off. Now moving on to the telephoto lens, again, the iPhone captures more detail, provides a more color accurate depiction, while the Pixel appears slightly overexposed and colors are slightly washed. Now, for this second photo, for kicks, I wanted to see how each phone handled extreme low light situations. Again, the iPhone definitely provides the better shot here. I don't need to say much as the photo speaks for itself. Last but not least, moving on to portrait photos, both cameras did a phenomenal job. However, I did notice that the Pixel is giving a slightly different hue, while the iPhone is more color accurate. These results are found in both of these photos. All in all, taking all of this data into consideration, both cameras have their strengths and weaknesses in this test. You can't go wrong with either. It truly is a matter of preference, as some prefer more saturated photos, while others a more realistic approach. I'm very curious to hear your thoughts on what camera you prefer in this test. Thanks again for watching. If you made it this far, you might as well subscribe and stay tuned for part two when I take photos during the day. Please stay safe and see you next time.